Hey everyone, I'm back again. So, uh, we're back here with the CPC, or the, excuse me, the NCPC by Smapo. And uh, this is just going to be an overview video. I'm going to just go, go over the uh, features of this carrier and just slightly hit on the quality. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to talk about are these little pouches it comes with, which is pretty neat. These pouches actually integrate with the harness. Uh, we have little Velcro tabs on here, and you simply lift up the pads on the inside. You can take them off too if you want, and you simply just Velcro them in. Uh, it's got six tabs, and they just lock in like that with the Velcro. Very lightweight setup, very cool. Um, we have stretch material on there. We have a button, but we're missing the little tab to pull it off. But uh, not really an issue, as this has lots of retention in there just by the uh, from the uh, stretch fabric on this pouch and on this entire carrier. It's all real AR1 material. Uh, the webbing is all real, uh, both on the shoulder straps and on the cummerbund and the front and back plate pockets everywhere, as well as the cordura. The cordura is all real AR1. Maybe I'll post pictures. Uh, looking under night vision with it. Maybe I won't. We'll see But uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. It comes in a little plastic pouch or a little plastic uh, Ziploc bag but uh, just to, You know, so if you didn't get it in your uh, If you didn't find it or you lost it or you threw away your box, you're kind of fucked, but it's in there every one of them Now we have I'll talk about the cummerbund and the harness uh, first because I feel like that's the most interesting part about this, about this carrier. So the external cummerbund, we have just like an airlight cummerbund. It's very uh, similar to JPCs and uh, stuff like that. You can just simply take it off, which is nice, with this little button. It just unsnaps and you weave it through. Let me go ahead and put that back. And you weave it through the mall in the back here. You can put a pouch there if you want. But uh, where you could adjust the uh, the cover one to go to sit forward if you're a bigger guy, or to have it where it is if you're smaller. So yeah, external cover button you can take it on and off if you uh, don't want to. Uh, you could put these pouches. We have the comes with the set, so you get one on each side if you want. Uh, I think LBT makes some. You probably have to call them up and ask them about it. You could have custom pouches too made. Uh, it's a very simple design, which would be cool. I'll probably end up going that route. Very cool. It's hard to get uh, mags in there, but it's uh, nice and smooth to take them out. So yeah, external cummerbund, bun, air light cummer bun can be adjusted, taken off. We have Velcro on the inside. Velcro, of course, for the uh, to put it on the front plate pocket. So let's let's move that. That was not a fart, by the way. Then over here, we have these buttons in here for the STKSS, I believe is what it is. Uh, so it would integrate with that as well. Moving more forward, we have a embitter pouch, so you can hold your radio, a couple magazines, uh, 152, 148's in there, just fine. We have very nice uh, shock cord, it's very durable, it has a lot of, it uh, doesn't give a lot, but it's, uh, so it's not going to have anything bouncing out. This is something that I would uh, definitely trust my $250 radio in there, without a doubt. And then of course we have Molly on the front, so if you wanted to put a pouch up there, when you're not running the external cover one, you can. And then this little piece right here, we in and out just like the air light, but on the front of the embitter pouch. And uh, that way, when you put this little tab in here, inside the front plate pocket, right there, when you put that inside, not going to do it in the video because it's hard, you can use this just like a, uh, you can use this piece right Right here, just like a cummerbund flap, so it just goes right in, and you can secure it. Very, very cool. So on the inside of the harness, we have the Samapo Gear padding, which is actually feels really nice and comfortable. Almost, uh, it feels pretty close to the uh, CPC or the ABS that I have with these with uh, the cry pads in there. Of course, we have Samapo's logo. Uh, it doesn't really matter. You're not going to see it. You're going to be wearing it. And then right here we have very nice, uh, feels very smooth and there's a little bit of a padding on it. So if you didn't even want to run the uh, the pads in there, which I don't know why you wouldn't, but 
maybe you're a little bit bigger guy and you just want this to sit as close as you possibly can to you, you can take them off and just run with the harness and you'd be just fine. So, the biggest characteristic about this vest is simply put that it's all one piece. You can grab wherever you want and the whole harness, obviously, if you have it velcroed in, you can grab pretty much any piece of this carrier and the whole thing, it's all one huge piece, which is what makes this carrier so comfortable and why so many people want this carrier. So, we have this little tab right here, as I said, goes right in there. And there's some uh, help up, help on, however you pronounce it, like material. The stuff that JPCs have on their uh, their shoulders. It's a nice little plasticky feel. So it goes in there without a constantly wearing out. So let's talk about the uh, the front and back plate bags. So the, we'll talk about the front one first, obviously because it has more uh, going on. We have Molly all within the front kangaroo integrated pouch. Start from the bottom and go up. We have three rows and six columns, and then we have another uh, set up here for uh, for pouches. So if you want to take these little pull tabs out, it uses the same shock cord as what was on the Embitter pouch. The Embitter pouch is on each side. So I wanted to kind of clarify this real quick. Uh, the harness and the cummerbund, uh, it's identical on each side, just kind of switched. So one for the right side, one for the left. Hope you don't get that mixed up. And then on the back, I'll talk about that in a second. We'll talk about the plate pack first. So, of course, we have uh, Molly on the front. Uh, we have Velcro and then horizontal Molly, just like what's on the real deal. On the inside, it's held in by Velcro. We have loop Velcro on the inside of the closer to the plate. And we have hook on the outside part. And this holds, if they fixed it, which I really hope they did, it should be able to, yep, sit these mags in there quite nicely. Uh, it's not too loose, it's not too tight, it's just right. And uh, you can just simply put these mags in and out. Before an issue was the elastic on the inside right here it was so close that it was really difficult to put that middle mag right inside. So now you could either put a little piece of Velcro on here, wherever it sits, and uh, some hook on uh, this side I would put it, and if you didn't want to run the bungees you could use that and have that as retention, or you could put uh, inserts, which I'll probably end up doing, on the inside and just take off these tabs because I'm not a big fan of the tabs, or maybe I'll run uh, flaps, I kind of like the flaps, that's pretty cool. Moving up, we have some Velcro, uh, looks just like the one that's on the real thing, so not much I can really say about that. Uh, stitching looks good everywhere uh, so far. Everything looks good. Uh, I'll talk about that later, but we'll talk about the admin first. So on the admin, we have, I don't know about the color choice, but uh, we have some little uh, elastic dividers in here. Not sure about the size as well. Usually JPCs and uh, the AVS I have, the space between it, you could fit a Glock mag or pretty much any double stack mag, single stack mag, and they're just fine. Uh, with this, I'm not sure if it's just because the NCPC or if that's how the, they all are, the CPCs as well. We have just a inch size of Velcro on there, so that's pretty cool. And of course we have a gigantic admin, which is awesome. I really like that, this feature about this carrier. Uh, it makes it so I don't have to run an external admin. Uh, and if I want to run an external admin, I have that much more room, which is great. I'm going to check on the time real quick. Okay, so I'm, I'm at nine minutes right now. I got about four or five before the video ends, so. We have a nice piece of plastic on the inside of the front and the rear plate pocket. So it holds its shape. Let's go ahead and test out some, uh, some plates in here. So first thing I'll try out is the SNS Precision Swimmer Plate. Fits perfectly. We have a nice bit of uh, padding right here. So that's pretty cool. So it just makes that carrier, or the, the plate, excuse me, sit that much higher up on the carrier. Now, of course, this is, I'm just kind of shoving it in there right now, but uh, there we go. It's all the way up to the top, just fine. Uh, we'll talk about the shoulders, or we'll talk about the back of your pocket now. We have a pull tab with some Velcro, very cool, just like the real thing. Uh, I wish this was Coyote Brown, as well as this little piece for the... Uh, 
the buckle, but not really a huge deal. So we have six rows and six columns of molly on the back, so you can put whatever your heart desires. Let's go, ho go ahead and open up the back. We have a nice little piece of foam padding in the back as well. Let me put in my Patriot Choice uh, training plates, and it fits just fine. No hiccups or anything. So that's a medium plate. Uh, you can see the Smart Gear tag right here with the M. Pretty cool. I wish somebody would actually initial the inspected by. Uh, whoever does it, I just think it'd be kind of cool. Um, but let's talk about the back, the back real quick. We have stretch fabric on either side, just like on the front. I don't know if I showed you that or not, but it's there. So it just hugs your plate a bit more, so it's not swimming in there a lot. And then we have zippers on the side, both sides, and that actually integrates with the real uh, cry zippers, which is pretty fucking cool. Or the backpack, excuse me, or back panels. And Smapo, if you're listening, which I know you are, Please, for the love of God, make us AOR1 back, pan or back panels, either all of them. I want all of them. Please. I know many people that want all of them. The backpack, the molly, the pouch, all of them. Make it. Make it happen. So now I'll talk about the uh, shoulder straps real quick. So standard shoulder straps, uh, just like on the, uh, the real CPC, you would adjust it via Velcro. You just move this piece up and down as well as, you know, just pulling down on this and uh, having these metal adjusters come up and just have more material or less, however you want. We have some very, very comfortable padding here and very nice, almost silk-like uh, fabric, which is great. And of course we have communications routing and the quick release system, which I'll probably end up making a video on me using it, is just held in there by a piece of Velcro, just like the real deal, so they're not, you know, flopping around check the time. Flopping and moving around, so that's pretty cool. And they go straight back into the harness and the rear plate bag, and it's held in there by elastic. And it's actually tucked away back here. But this is your little adjuster, this little black piece. Ah, let's see if I can get this bitch out. Okay. And we have some elastic. And you simply yank on the elastic while pushing this piece up and uh, that should adjust it. I'm gonna leave it because my fingers are pretty cold. We have uh, all ITW hardware, the plastic and the metal is, I believe this is, they say it's military grade aluminum. I don't really have any way to test it, but it actually has some Apple Gear uh, stamped down there, which is pretty cool. I like that a lot. I like the color of it, it looks great. Um, not really much else to say about this carrier. Uh, to adjust the, the height of the front buckle, you simply, Take this Velcro up and move it just slightly up, which I'll probably end up doing. But so far, I really am in love with this carrier. The stitching so far that I looked at, everything is bar tech from top to bottom and double stitch where it needs to be. The only place I found where uh, the stitching looked a little bit iffy was in the corners of the admin. I'd like to see that bar tech, uh, possibly in the next release, the next batch. But uh, yeah, great carrier. Uh, tons of adjustment everywhere. You, if you wanted to adjust this looser, you could simply just pull up down on this little this little tab. Hopefully, you can see it. I'm not blocking it. You just pull down on that tab and to adjust it. The harness adjusts out. Very simple design. Very uh, very great. And just awesome carrier. Uh, Velcro is great. All the material, stretch fabric is spot on with the color. Uh, it's overall a really great carrier so far. I'll definitely have a review on this uh, shortly. Uh, as soon as I can, as soon as I use it to a decent extent. But yeah, uh, super high value carrier. If you have any questions or comments, you know where to leave them. I'll put a link. I'll put a couple links down in the description below where you can buy this. Some Apple Gears pages. Definitely shoot them a like if you uh, if you can. Uh, and I'll leave a link down in the description below where you can uh, purchase it. And you know where my Facebook page is, uh, so you can go ahead and like that. Please like, favorite, share, and subscribe this video. It helps tremendously. And uh, there's really nothing else I could say about this carrier that hasn't already been said. Full review will be out as soon as I possibly can. So, as always, have a good one.